women have a nefesh, and that nefesh comes from the Osea world. Men have a ruach, and their ruach comes from the um, Yetzirah world. The last sephirot of the Yetzirah world is Yesod, and that's where men actually come from, the sexual component. Women from the Osea world come from Malkus. You see, Malkus is the physical world. And women are physicality, not sexuality. Men are sexuality, and they think that way. For a man, everything physical is sexual, too. For a woman, everything physical is physical. And that's seen by what transpires in this physical world. Women spending their time doing things physica physicality-wise makeup, hair salons, nail salons, clothing, fashion. But this is in a non-sexual sense. I made the mistake yesterday of having a conversation with two women, and they, didn't, they don't realize that physicality to a man is sexuality. Or even has a sexual component. And that's why there's Jewish laws and you should never talk to a woman, even your wife. It's a, it's a complete different level of soul. I know that book, Men Are From Mars, and what, Venus, you know, Women From Venus, or whatever. It's a different level of soul in the Jewish tradition. It's, it's a nefesh for a woman and a ruach for a man. And the beauty of Judaism is that it follows the line of the woman, the nefesh, the physical world, the Osea world. But that doesn't mean men come from this world. Let me give you a gematria for the word ruach. Ruach, which comes from the, from the um, uh, Yetzira world. That's the soul of the Yetzira world. Okay. And the soul of the that's Resh, that's 500, Resh uh, with a shin. Vav, that's 12. And Het, that's how you spell Ruach. In the full gematria of that, uh, Het is 418, Vav is 12, Resh is 500, that's uh, 930, and that's the years of Adam. The years of Adam in the Bible were 930 years because he exemplified the Ruach. This Ruach is also different because that's why men have the bris. Women don't have circumcision. It's the man who has circumcision. And it's of the level of this Ruach, and that's why it's at the level of the Yesod area. And the Yesod's the carrier of uh, say, uh, the Yitzhira world and the Ruach. All the Sephirots of Ziranpin, um, the six Sephirots, the five others, funnel into the Yesod, and then the Yesod goes into the Malkuth.
So women have a different sensation of, they can see conversation as physical, as conversation. For a man, everything is sexual. Everything is from the yesod. And that's why there's trouble in the understanding of the Me Too movement and in society in general. And that's why my uh, take at this time and Kabbalistic solutions, um, solution at this time, uh, you know, because we give, um, we give uh, contemporary, uh, you know, solutions to contemporary problems uh, as a consultancy uh, is to understand that, uh, well, it's to give women the physical world, you see. Give women the physical world. Give the, first of all, Kabbalistic Solutions believes, give everybody what they want. Women want the physical world. You know, they want to be heads of state. They want to be, you know, uh, on television, you know. They want to be, uh, they want to have it both ways. They want, see, woman, when she looks beautiful on television, she thinks that that's like non-sexual. It's just physical. She can be physical and then talk, you know, talk uh, intellectual. Well, for a man, the physical turns on the sexual. So that's why men and women are not supposed to be like talking and so if women want to what I want to do is study and do Kabbalah and you know do my Talmudic studies and what I do um, and that's what the role is of a man to elevate his Ruach as his, that's what he was given. He's given the Ruach. So he's of a higher nature. That's why he's studying Talmud and stuff like that. He's of a higher nature to begin with. A woman only has a nefesh. Woman doesn't have a Ruach. So give the women the physical world. And leave men to study. Pursue other endeavors. So there's a distinction here. You want to be a worker? <laughs> work. You want to be a slave? Go work. Go work. You, you head. You go to the board meetings. Leave me to do this. So another thing, I want to give just a couple of more things here about nefesh and ruach. They do come together at certain periods. You know, uh, they they come together in family periods and stuff like that. And this is one of the ways. Uh, nefesh is 430. Ruach is 214. That's uh, 644, and then I add one for each of the two names, Nefesh and Ruach, and that's 646, and that's Elohim, Elohim, Aleph, Lamed, Hey, Yud, final Mem, 600. That's the gematria of Elohim with a final Mem of 600. Uh so Elohim is 646, and that's uh, the combination of Nefesh and Ruach. And this is a great understanding about the Elohim, because the Elohim uh, is uh, a name that's uh, associated, say, more with the uh, 
it's with Bina necessarily, but if it's not with Bina, it would be with Malkus, so to speak. Um, it's not an Adonoi name of, 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 of uh, Yitzira world. Yitzira world is more of the yud Hey vav Hey. So this Nefesh and Ruach come together, and man, man has a Nefesh, obviously, because the Nefesh is what's the uh, carrier of a physical body. But the difference in man is that he has a Ruach. And a woman doesn't. And that's why there's a misunderstanding here. You know. And how to raise that sexuality and the understanding of sexuality, which is a problem in the secular world today, if not also in the religious world. And in the people world, you know. Remember, Judaism is a mesh of two calendars, the Hebrew calendar and the uh, whatever it is, the secular calendar. So they partic partake and participate in the physical world, so to speak. You know, I just want to um, say that man has a ruach. Woman is nefesh. Woman comes from malkut. Man comes from Yesod. There's a separation of worlds between Yesod is the end of the Yetzirah world. Malkus is of the, and it's the kind of like the whole of the whole thing of the Osea world. Yesod and Malkus come together beautifully in Gematria and things like that. Yesod is 80. Malkus is 496 in Gematria. That comes out to be 576 plus the 10 letters of, of Yesod And Mal, uh, 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 nine letters of Yesod and Malkus plus one for all, that's 10. That comes out to be 586, which just so happens to be uh, Yerushalayim and Shofar and the full spelling of Yesod, fully spelt out. Uh, so these are deep secrets here. And for people... How could they know the difference between man and woman? How could your experience tell you that? That women are physical and men are sexual. And that's basically the difference. And that's one of the differences why a man has a bris and that's an obvious difference in the relationship to Judaism to men and women. But this does not negate that the religion itself follows the woman as the physical.